What is up everybody? Uh, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be going over a customer that came in. He has this kind of cheap uh, RCA tablet. Um, it was actually given it to, given to him uh, from a co-worker. He went to reset it. Now it's asking him for the FRP lock. Uh, so if you're watching this video, chances are you got this exact tablet or something similar um, and you're getting that FRP uh, lock screen where you can't get any further after you've reset the device. Um, in this particular device, we should be able to reset it. Um, not all devices will work with this method, um, but this is a really basic device. It doesn't have many of the Android updates that some of the newer devices have. Um, so you should be able to get this going. So let's go ahead and get started. So you want to power on the tablet. Uh, I'm going to switch this view uh, so you guys can see the tablet. All right, right, so we're powering on the tablet and you're going to be, um, go through the welcome screen. Let's click next. Make sure you connect to Wi-Fi. In my case, I already am. I've already connected, so. So you're gonna get to this uh, lock screen once you've connected to Wi-Fi and you click next. Um, so you can see it says the device was reset to continue signing with the Google account that was previously synced on this device. In this case, uh, we don't have one. So we're gonna go ahead and start the FRP removal. Um, FRP, FRP bypass, whatever you want to call it. Um, so go ahead and type something in here, anything you want. Click it and we're going to click assist. All right, so when we get here, it should take you to the Google screen. Um, it may take you to a, like a screen where you need to click ne uh, next or no thanks. Just click no thanks um, and it should let you bring you back to this plain Google screen. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna type in Chrome because we wanna open Google Chrome. You'll see it pop up down here. Give it a minute. Um, it's gonna, it should load Google Chrome. Um, if you don't, if you just see that black screen like I did, hit the plus tab. And here we're gonna go to Uh, go ahead and try this link, guys, instead. All right, here we go. So this is what we want. So it's frpfile.com forward slash bypass. We're going to scroll down. And you want to download Quick Shortcut Maker. You want to allow permissions to download that. Here we're going to click OK down here. Once that downloads, we want to open it. Click on that. Install blocked. For security, your tablet is set to block installations of unknown sources. So let's go ahead and change that. You want to click unknown sources and turn that on. OK back let's try that again there we go install accept we're going to open after the, it's installed so you're going to be taken into the app into the um, quick shortcut maker app Account Maker, or oh, sorry, Google Account Manager. I right, see it pop up there. Click that, and then you're gonna get a list um, of all these different ones. You wanna actually find the one that says Google Account Maker, Account Manager with email and password. Um, so we're gonna click the first one. Okay, so that's actually the screen we want to be at. Um, click up here, the top three little icons. Browser sign in. Click OK. So now this is where you want to sign in with your email account. All right, so sign in with your um, email account. I'm going to go ahead and let you look at that while I do this. 
because this is again for a customer so I don't want you guys seeing their information um, let's see All right, so it's signing in. You should get a success. So that's it. Let's go ahead and restart the tablet. Power off. Let's turn it back on. So just so you guys can actually see the tablet that we're doing this on, it's just one of the basic RCA tablets. I'm pretty sure they sell these at Walmart all day. It's the Viking Pro. Comes with the keyboard, it is detachable keyboard and mouse. No mouse pad there. Um, surprisingly, the keyboard and mouse work probably better than the touchscreen on this tablet does. All right, so we got that booted back up. Let's go all the way through the settings again. So it's checking connection. This can take up to two minutes, it says. Well, hopefully it doesn't. I'll edit this out if it does take two minutes, guys. All right, so that didn't take very long. It was just a couple minutes after, um, just a couple seconds after I told you guys I'd be right back. Um, so we did, uh, it did successfully. It's saying that my email's ready, um, that I can also use uh, email exchange address, like a POP3 or whatever. Um, in this case, we're just gonna click not now. I'm covering his email. So I'm gonna click next. Next, just go through this whole setup. Um, it's asking you to choose a password. Well, I guess, I guess we have to put a password on this thing. That's weird. I don't want to put a password on it, but, um, well, whatever, let's do a pin. Confirm the pin twice. Um, just gonna leave all these default settings here. Again, I'm just gonna skip all this. Just go through all this. Boom. That's it, guys. We're in here. Now you can actually go into your settings um, go to your email accounts and you can add another account and delete the first one if that's what you want to do. Um, so you'll find out here under accounts. And then you click on Google and then I can see that I have one account in here and then I can easily go here. Um, remove account. Let's go ahead and remove the account. Are you sure? Device protection feature will no longer work. 4074, boom, it removed the account. All right, so I, I had actually made that email for that customer, um, so I don't even care if you guys saw it now. I know I was trying to hide it before, but now that he's not gonna have access to it, that's just a dead email. That's it, guys, we're done. So if that's your uh, dilemma, hopefully we were able to help you solve that. Um, if this video helped, please leave a like um, and subscribe. Uh, this channel is pretty much going to be based on our daily, our daily uh, life at a repair shop. So the different types of repairs we see, the different types of customers we see, the different types of problems, um, you know, and the fun things and the bad things that go along with that too. So again, please like, subscribe. Christian Major, we're out.